Insidious Movie Review from 2010. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on a movie called Insidious from 2010. Now this is a movie that I've really, really enjoyed from the very first time that I saw it. I actually had a lot of memories watching it. I saw it in theaters with one of my ex-girlfriends and I just kinda of was blown away the first time that I saw it. I felt like I hadn't seen anything that good almost ever. I felt like it was very unique and just I absolutely loved it. Since then The Conjuring has come out. I remember really liking The Conjuring. I think I liked The Conjuring a little bit more and then they had some other later installments of Insidious and slowly it just wasn't as good of a movie as it was in the very first one and I remember liking the second one a good amount but still the very first Insidious is what really pulled me in. I recently did a top 10 horror movies list and I think I put Insidious about number 8 and I was kind of curious to see how good Insidious actually was because I really did like it back in the day. Real quick, what is Insidious about? A family is moving into a new house kind of get little inklings that there's some creepy stuff happening and not very much. Eventually, one of the two boys goes to sleep. He doesn't wake up. They go through this long process of the doctors don't know what's going on. He's like not in a coma, but he's like alive and this big old kind of confusion. After about three months, the boy comes back to the house. He's still knocked out. It looks like he's in a coma and paranormal things start to happen. This movie does evolve into quite more things and I could describe it more, but I kind of want to leave it just in case someone hasn't seen the original Insidious because I think it is that good. The pros is it has a very unique paranormal feel. When you compare this to like, you know, The Conjuring or maybe even The Conjuring 2, some of the tactics that they use in this movie may seem a little bit like something you've seen before. But when the original Insidious came out, in my opinion, the amount of different ideas that they had was just unbelievable. For the whole movie seems to evolve. There's so many different ways to scare you, so many different creatures, so much stuff that you don't know about. It just has so much interesting things going on with it versus a lot of other horrors and a lot of other slashers especially one of those slashers to where you're counting down the kills until there's one person left that maybe survives or not this movie just kind of flips it on its head and really just makes paranormal movies as good as they could possibly be i love it another pro of this one is its insane pacing and twists now i would say the pacing and twists of this movie it might even be better than any of the conjurings it might even be one of the top twists and scares out of any horror movie ever just the way that this builds and the secrets that this movie holds for you when you compare it to the conjuring the conjuring is very simple it's very there's no false endings there's no like hidden other things in there i just think that the pacing and the twists of this movie were magnificent and they might even be the best ever as far as horror because i was just absolutely blown away with this movie, with its pacing and its twists even up till now. Another pro of this movie is the acting, especially from all the adults I pretty much like every actor slash actress in this movie. Everyone kind of fulfills their role. I would say that the older lady at the end is probably my favorite actress, but I really like the main dad character. I've always liked him. He's in The Conjuring, great here. Rose Byrne, the mom, I think she's phenomenal. Absolutely perfect in this role. All the acting is perfect. The whole time I was watching it, I felt like my adrenaline was just spiked. Like I was on a roller coaster the whole time time with the adrenaline and the twists and the pacing and there were several times people's acting was just so bone chilling that it just helped the experience for me and just really push the feeling that this movie was trying to get even further. Then another pro is that it has, in my opinion, the perfect length, little to no fat. There's almost nothing I would change about this movie. I would say it's the perfect length. And then the last thing I liked about it was the astral projection side of it. This is the first time I'd ever even heard of astral projection. And since then, a lot of people have talked to me about it. And it's always interesting to me because I first heard it in this movie and sometimes I'll even suggest people to watch this movie because they talk to me about it and I'll be like, have you seen Insidious? Because I talk about the astral projection in that movie. I only have one mixed aspect and that is the music. When I first watched this movie, the music absolutely blew me away. It kind of took us back to a very classic 
style of horror cinema music. It's not really that theatrical stuff that we have now. It's very high pitched and classic and I really liked it. The reason that I put it in mixed is because there's a scene where they have like a haunting that happens in the daytime and this guy basically changes the music that she's listening to to this kind of creepy music. But in this rewatch, I almost laughed at the music that was supposed to be creepy. <laughs> So I was kind of mixed on the music. Now let's get into the cons of this movie. I really don't have too, too many, but the cons in my opinion is that it is very slightly dated. When I first watched this movie, obviously it wasn't dated at all. It actually felt very new, but watching it now, it's very, very slightly dated. I do want to put that. They do not have very many extra people in this movie. The main dad character is like a teacher. So there was one scene where like kids are exiting a class, but Besides that, you pretty much have like six or seven characters and all you see is those characters either in the house or just in like a haunted realm. Again, I'm kind of stretching to find that as a problem. I would say this is pretty much as good as you're ever going to get with PG-13. They do drop an F-bomb in here. They do have some very aggressive language when there's like possessions going on. So it really does push the PG-13 label. And then the last con is that it has a slow intro. Again, I don't really know if I would change this. Once the main kid gets in the coma, from that point on, I would say it pretty much escalates at a nice pace. Twists come at a nice pace, and it's just you're engaged from that point until the end, but the intro was a little bit slow. As far as horror movies, I'd rate this a nine out of 10. As far as all movies, I'd rate this an eight out of 10. Pretty much as close to perfect as you could get for this style movie own it rent it or pass personally i would say own it if, if you like horror movies this is just one of the best it kind of is a little bit forgotten because you have the conjuring and then you have the later insidiouses which aren't like the original and it makes the whole movie series seem a little bit weaker when the very first one was the best so after watching it i would actually move this movie up in my list from eight to maybe up to like four or five on my horror movies of all time because i really really do like this and it pretty much delivered on everything i wanted it to deliver on if you like any sort of horror or scares check this one out right away but we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of your guys help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully you're having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace